Welcome back, Amanda Manhold joining us from London Drugs. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, happy to be yes. here. Yes, we are talking about the number one most asked question that Amanda gets uh, at the cosmetics desk. Let's yes. hear about it. Can you help me with my cover up or can you help me find my foundation? And that's okay, because that's what we're here for, really. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a tricky thing. It's almost like when you go to buy eyeglasses. You need that girlfriend with you, right? Second opinion. Yeah, because it's hard, right? You're going, going uh, does it match? Does it not match? Is it right. too dark? Is it too light? Is it orange? Am I pink? You know, that kind of thing. So what are the basic tools or the basic premises of knowing when something is, is going to work for you? How do you know? Well, really what you want to do is... Uh, sort of weed your way through all the myriad of options because let me tell you there is a lot yeah. of products out there and it's a bit overwhelming especially it if you're is. thinking and you know maybe I'm gonna kind of try and try a little base makeup because I'm noticing I'm getting a lot of women that are a little bit more mature that maybe haven't worn makeup but now they're feeling like they're noticing changes in their skin and they really don't know where to start yes so don't be shy come in that's what we're there for um, the first thing I'll say basically in terms of weeding it down is were you looking for a powder product or were you looking for a liquid product? Right. So powder foundations can be uh, loose or they can be pressed. Uh, they're generally loaded with minerals and things that are good for the skin. Uh, and some people like them because they just find them more convenient. You can literally, after your moisturizer, you're just going to buff them on with a brush. Yeah. Um, Do you get the same coverage, though, from a powder or press as you would from a liquid foundation? You totally can. You can? Yeah, you really, really can. Really? Um, some, it, 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 there's a difference between a powder foundation and a pressed powder or a translucent powder. Okay. Um, those really are better for setting a liquid makeup or controlling shine. What I'm talking about are... Uh, foundation coverage products that are, are actually powder. Um, so I brought a few down in the front mm -hmm. um, and uh, just to show you there's um, some nice brands there. Youngblood is a beautiful brand that's a um, uh, medical grade mineral mm -hmm. uh, and then that's I would say kind of your splurge that's kind of your top end line right there the Youngblood. Let's see if I can hold it up for you. Mm -hmm. um, Great, great pop product, really popular. People yes. come sourcing it out. Yeah. But then there's some other brands that aren't so pricey. So you can go with like your physician's formula. And again, we've got loose and pressed. So you've got lots of choices. I kind of find that um, I prefer pressed simply because if I want to touch up through the day, mm -hmm. it's a little easier and not quite so messy. I just find loose powder to be quite messy all over the kitchen sink or the, or the bathroom, bathroom counter. Sink. Yeah. It absolutely yeah, is. Yeah, it can so. be. But it's just... Again, it's preference. Yeah. So once we've determined, okay, no, powder isn't for me, I want to go to liquid, then we go and look at that piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. And really from there, you're looking, it isn't just color, it's is it the right coverage, because you can go from very, very sheer to complete, you know, heavy coverage. Um, it's also, is it the right one for my skin type? Mm -hmm. Right. I find that women are getting smarter about finding the right color. Would you say that, or I think that yeah, I think that they're more aware. I mean, it wasn't like when back and I was in grade nine and we all walked around with the like <laughs> the line, the line of brown oh. and then white or orangey and then white. It was white. always orange. Yeah, it was always orange. Grade and I think eight. part of that Ugh. is oof. I know. Part of that is because there are more options now, oh, too. Oh, so much more selection and yeah. choice, yes. Which is great, but again, it comes back to the fact that a lot of people are really overwhelmed when they come sure. into my department. They're yeah. a little bit like a deer in the headlights, yes. like they don't know which way to go. Yes. So uh, if you're going sort of from the lightest to the heaviest coverage, um, think of it like your, your drapes. So you could have shears or you could have blackout blinds, and it really just depends on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. I do, personally, this is just my thing, I think that as we get older, we actually almost need a little bit lighter coverage, mm -hmm. because I think that the heavier it goes, the more it can age a person. Sure. So that would be something like a tinted moisturizer. Um, I brought a couple, so I brought my splurge favorite one, one that I love. This one is from Clarins, super restorative. It is beautiful. It's it? just, ugh, gorgeous. It just makes your skin look healthy. I don't know how to describe it. Very glowy. Mm -hmm. It's got a bit of an SPF. And you know what? This Maybelline one, I use this out at the lake um, in the summer because um, I have such pinky skin and I have a real pink nose and pink, you know, red cheeks. Do you burn easily? Ugh. Yeah, I look at the sun sideways and I'm just a deeper shade of pink. So this one I like because I don't feel like I'm putting on a whole bunch of makeup, but I don't feel like I'm walking around with my red right. nose and it's got a, you know, a bit of coverage. Yeah. 
Um, and then you can work your way up into like a liquid makeup. And again, there's all different uh, brands, all different prices, all different coverage range. And let's talk about applicators. A lot of people use those little foam things. I use my, I've heard the warmth of your fingers is the best way to apply because it's blending it better with the warmth. Yeah. Is that true or you not? You know what? I, I think that everybody has these rules around makeup and I just think that really it's all meant to be broken. I think you should do what works for you. Yeah. So if you're comfortable using your fingers. I've watched some really amazing makeup artists online that have their own lines and they work basically all with their hands mm -hmm. because you know what? They're clean, they're warm. You're right, they help to sort of absorb it into the skin. Other people prefer brushes and other people prefer sponges. Mm -hmm. um, I think the most important thing is you find what works for you. Sure, sure. Yeah. And how much is too much? I mean, how much thickness do we put on because too much is too much yeah for tv you know i throw on a little bit oh, you know totally. clearly i'm gonna yeah. put on a little more than i would in my regular every day yeah but i think when you're out and about in the real world you got to be careful about how how heavy you go yeah i think that it should just it should feel comfortable first mm -hmm. and foremost and that's the thing the formulas nowadays are so vastly improved from back when you and i were probably both you know standing at the in the drugstore counter mm -hmm. um i i always start in the center of the face and blend outward i find that you don't most of us don't need a whole lot of coverage around here or around here where we need it is the nose the tops of the cheeks where all that sun damage has hit yes. us from the years yes and then you're blending it out to almost nothing at the jaw and the neck mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. my, my my thing with fake uh, makeup is that it should just make you look healthier yes absolutely you know? so if you look at young children you'll notice their skin is very very even and really that's what we're trying to impart, that sort of evenness and that glowy radiance. Fantastic. Out of time already, sadly, Amanda. I know, I could talk all day. Yeah, we'll have to talk about lipstick next time. Then. Next time we will. Yes. Uh, if you have any questions, you can certainly head down to London Drugs. Amanda is a huge help and she can help you navigate the ways of uh, what foundation works for you, what kind of foundation works for you. Information on the screen. We're back after a quick break. Stay with us.